Hi, this is Nanette Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Monday, August 12, 2019. Looking at fire potential impacts for the next few days, we are not looking at any significant fire weather impacts. We will see a return to near normal temperatures and relative humidity today with light to moderate afternoon breezes. We could see some lightning holdovers emerge in the coming days with warmer and drier conditions. Over the past 24 hours, uh, there was really not much in the way of precipitation across the Great Basin and some lightning across the um, mountains of central Idaho. Uh, initial activity across the Great Basin was light. Over the past 14 days, um, you can see as far as precipitation across the Great Basin, things have generally been below normal. Uh, we have seen some pockets of above normal precipitation um, where the heavier thunderstorms have occurred. Um, but overall, we are looking at uh, normal to just below normal conditions across the area. ERCs are uh, generally below the 50th uh, to 70th percentile, which is pretty abnormally low for the time of year, um, especially across the northern part of the Great Basin. Typically, we'd be seeing um, a lot more red um, and dark red on the map this time of year across the northern half of the area, but this has been a pretty unusual season, um, and we are looking at unusually low ERCs across the area. Uh, just continuing to look at that, um, you can uh, see the two ERC charts on the right um, showing us at or below normal across the Great Basin. GB3 um, in southwestern Idaho is far below normal. You can see um, we approached normal conditions and then with the cooler, wetter weather took a nosedive a couple of weeks ago with those ERCs. Live fuel moistures uh, tend to be right around normal um, across the area. You can see the um, two Life field moisture uh, tends to be right around normal across the Great Basin. Uh, the graph images on the right are for sagebrush moisture, and you can see the two sites further south are a little below normal, um, but looking at above normal moisture further north across the Great Basin. As far as 10-hour fuel moisture, um, our driest fine fuels are across portions of Nevada and into western Utah. Satellite this morning shows zonal flow across the area. We are looking at a building ridge of high pressure, which will bring warming and drying conditions to the area. So for today, generally uh, light winds with dry air in place across the Great Basin. Looking at that in more detail, you can see from that wind gust forecast on the left, really light winds expected across the area with uh, the driest relative humidities across the southern part of the Great Basin. As we move into Tuesday, we have a pretty similar pattern. Um, some dry air in place across the southern part of the Great Basin. Really light winds again tomorrow across the area with the driest conditions further south. Uh, moving into Wednesday, again not too much change in the weather pattern um, with that dry air in place across the southern part of the area. And really light winds expected again on Wednesday. We could see some winds increasing across the northern part of the Great Basin on Wednesday and you can see that reflected in the wind gust map with those oranges. Um, those are in the mid 20 mile an hour range. Over the next three days, it really will be quite dry across the area. You can see no precipitation is expected. As we move into Thursday, we start to see a low pressure system make its way towards the Great Basin. Uh, that moves a little closer on Friday. We will start to see winds increase with this uh, weather system moving through um, across the area. Mainly on Friday is when we're looking to see that increase in the winds. And as we move into Saturday, um, that system moving off to the northeast and a high pressure building across the area. And finally on Sunday, high pressure building back into the Great Basin. So really quite quiet weather-wise over the next seven days. Uh, the main thing is the potential for some gusty winds across portions of the area on Friday. In the seven-day uh, period, really no precipitation is expected across the area. Finally, in the 8 to 14 day period, the Climate Prediction Center is calling for above normal temperatures across almost the entire Great Basin with below normal uh, precipitation across the area. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen, and you can also find us on Twitter. Thank you.